everybody, welcome back to another Creative tutorial. Today we're going to go over some changes that are made to the pop-up palette in Krita in 5.1. They're very simple, nothing too crazy, but still worth going over. So just as, as a refresher, if you right click anywhere on your canvas, you will bring up this pop-up palette. And here we have a couple things. We have the color selector, so or the color history, so whenever you make a bunch of colors here, I'm just using my, using my mouse to do this real quick. I guess you don't really I don't need the tablet to demonstrate this. Alright, so we have a bunch of colors here. We have the history, and when you right click, you also have the history around your color wheel. And then you also have the rotation ring on the very outside. A couple of these things people didn't really care for, or maybe you just want a streamlined pop-up palette with just the brushes. Totally understandable, no big deal. Krita understood that too. So if you go to settings and configure Krita, Give it a second to load. On the left hand side you want to go down to the pop-up palette and what we're going to do is uncheck the show color history ring and uncheck the show rotation ring. We're going to hit OK. We're going to right click again and now it's much simpler to look at and it's very basic, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. You only have your brushes and you only have your color uh, wheel selector here. Now your color history will still be here up here in the advanced color selector if you really need that. It hasn't gone away, but if you don't want it on your pop-up palette, you can change that. And you still have your options to minimize and maximize some quick settings here with little arrows. And you can still change the tagged brushes. So another thing that they have done is, let's say, this is my uh, personal custom palette over here, right? I want to keep adding some of these brushes. So I'm going to assign custom. As you see, that has dynamically changed both the, I can't think of the word, this is both dynamically changed the size of the brushes here and the order. And if I go ahead and add a couple more of these, let's see, I'll put that in there, assign the tag, we'll put that in custom. It's doing it again. I'll just keep adding, I'll remove these later. Not a big deal. See how it's done that? It's doing it dynamically. Now, if you don't want that to happen and you only want like maybe five of those brushes to show still, you can go back to configure Krita. You can go back up to the pop-up palette options and you can turn off the dynamically um, adjustable slot count. But we're gonna hit okay. So it, by default it's at 10. So I have one, two. So now that this is back on, if I change this to We'll send it to 20. We'll hit OK. So all the brushes that I added are back in. But now I want to take some of these out. So I'll go to custom. I'll say I don't want to. I'm going to remove it from this tag that's current right here. I'm going to take this, remove from this tag. And it's dynamically changing it um, in terms of the position and everything. So if I go back to configure Krita. I don't know why this is taking so long to open the setting. I'm going to uncheck that and hit OK. So I have the new maximum set at 20, so it's automatically going to show me those 20 slots no matter what, even if they're empty. So if you're making a new custom palette for yourself or a, um, a tag, and you always want to make sure you have like 10, 20 brushes in there for whatever reason, I don't know why you would have 20 brushes all at once, but maybe you do. You can say, all right, I'm always going to have 20 brushes available at minimum for every new tag that I make for my custom brushes or whatever organization method you're using. So that's how what it's going to look like. Now, again, just reiterating the point, if you if you have it set to minimum, a minimum of 20, but you don't want it to look empty here, you just turn on the dynamically adjust slot or leave it on because it's on by default. And it's just going to look like that until you fill it up to the maximum number that you have. And that's really it for the pop-up palette that's been changed. I am going to remove some of these because I don't need them in this tag. Uh, I'm not going to keep that one there and remove this one. Alright, so that's pretty good for me. That makes me happy. And that's it for the pop-up palette. I think it's pretty neat the changes that they've made to it. They're not anything crazy, but they're like little extras that I think are worthwhile having. 
Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.